Grand Rising, good afternoon and good evening. Whatever time you click on this reading is the right time for you. I had to take my time with doing this reading because the downloads that came through, um, let's just say they weren't pretty. And I'm a fair reader. I always like to make sure that I give all sides of a story, not my opinion. You know, and if I do say anything opinion wise, I like it to be known that it is my opinion only and not from the spirit realm. Um, this reading is going to be, I want to say this is number five in my Queen Op series and it's dedicated to Danny. Now, there was a person in my comments on the last reading who, you know, called me out and they let me know that Danny was also speaking disrespectfully about Krishan Jr. Now, I did not watch the full video when I started talking about Krishan Jr. It made me sick to my stomach. So I immediately cut it off. But thank you for letting me know about that because you were absolutely right. So for that, Danny deserves her own smoke. And those who have witnessed my readings personally know when I pull this out, I'm going to put some smoke on it. Now, tobacco in the spiritual realm is a tool to help with justice. Anytime you are going to court or you're asking for justice in the spiritual realm, you burn tobacco candles or you offer tobacco. I am an avid cigar smoker, and this is one of the best Maduros I've had in a while. If anybody wanted to know what type of cigar this was. Now, the energy that I pulled for Danny, I'm going to tell you guys right now. When I started channeling this energy, I started getting a lot of music, which is not uncommon with me. Um, the song that kept playing over and over and over again was Rocky Bad talking to me crazy. And the song starts off with the intro with somebody saying, keep your hands off me, Rocky Bad trying to show out. And she say, first off, ain't no talking to me crazy. So it let me know from the very beginning that there is a potential altercation that's going to happen and it's going to pop off because for one people are allegedly you know altered from what i could see danny you know drinking doing her one two what she usually does i'm doing something completely different but i gets to talking and talking and talking and she says some things and she literally puts herself in a position where she writes a check with her mouth that her ass can't cash and that's what i'm about to tap into now so needless to say this energy started coming to me this past wednesday on that same day I go to go get my nails done and my nail tech decides he wants to do Halloween already. So here we are, Nightmare Before Christmas. This was, you know, his idea. And he had no idea what type of energy I was tapped into. He doesn't even know I'm a reader. But I, I have a feeling that between now and Christmas, I needs to really, really be mindful of the things that she says to Danny. And I'm not trying to wish anything on anybody, but you can only push a person so far.
Alrighty, I'll smudge my cards with the tobacco. Angel Spirit Guides. And all of my spiritual team of the highest heavenly order that vibrate in love, integrity, and truth. I need you to come before me and this table and give me messages about what's to come. Let no Maleficent spirits come before this reading. Block all monitoring spirits and any spirits that will run interference in this message. Give me the energy behind Danny and what sets her off. Now, any of you that have Apple Music or you have any apps, I need you to follow the music that I channel as I go through this reading because there's messages in these songs that also help to tell the story. Like I said, Rocky Bad's up first. Ain't no talking to me crazy. I keep hearing a line over and over where she says, you know, I can never be a target in my lane. You got to park it. So that lets me know right there when she's saying I can never be a target that somebody is insinuating that they can make something happen to her. Seven of coins. Um, that's sowing seeds for a bigger harvest, the fool, okay? So on the seeds for a bigger harvest. And like I said, letting your mouth write a check that your ass can't cash. The fool, being very foolish with your words and your decisions. Also taking a leap of faith, you know, making a move without properly thinking things through. Being very impulsive. Um, five of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is why I like to show you guys as I go, because anything that I say, if it is what it is, it will always be reconfirmed. I read as I shuffle, not just what hits the table. So let's see what's sold into this foolish energy and pay attention. This is a person, you know, going about leaving with just the clothes on their back. It's like, you know, hobo. Now, as I'm getting off into this energy, I'm starting to hear King Von. Uh, I am what I am. This song is a song featuring, um, what's his name? He's a drill artist from New York, somebody at the bottom. He, he was, he was uh, in the same circle with Pop Smoke. At the end of this guy's verse, he says, off the, off the Henny, off the Yak, I don't know how to act. And it goes into King Vine, I am who I am. Who I am, what I'm not, I'll never be. And it talks about keep on talking that shit until we meet. And then it goes off into the next verse where he talks about hooking, you know, hooking up with a girl with his mask on. He'd be dead wrong if he circled back around and hit her, you know, and rob her crib. So he hit the girl off with his mask on, but he'd be dead wrong if he circled back around and he robbed her crib. So it sounds like to me, this is going off into an argument about the apartment that they lost getting broken into. emperor this can be a controlling figure not just a person that is in charge uh empress uh mother and father type energy let 
this is also argument uh, argument over fraternity hmm page of cups page of cups somebody somebody needs to apologize to somebody about something over fraternity And I always, <clears throat> I always find this card interesting because you look at this dark hulking figure in this card, okay? Looks like a monster. I'm channeling Nicki Minaj's verse in uh, Monster. You say, first thing first, <laughs> I eat your brain. And then I'm going to rock gold teeth and, uh, what'd she say? Go teeth and chains. Now you can see the Empress is trying to calm down this beast, right? Now, I don't know what this is in her hands. But remember that verse, first thing first, I eat your brains, right? That's being that that falls on the apology card. That lets me know that somebody feels like somebody's been playing with their intelligence. Bottom of the deck, two of swords. That's that's cutting somebody off. You feel like somebody been playing in your face. Somebody been playing with your your, your intelligence. You're ready to cut this person off. Um. This isn't just an argument over paternity. This is like arguing over, you know, the right to be called father. Like, I'm here more than this person. I'm more of a father than this person. And as you can see in this, pic this picture with the empress, She's calming down this beast, but she has this slight smile on her face. And then next thing you know, oh my God, you know, you're holding what appears to be some kind of matter in your hands, like out of nowhere. Um... I'm trying so hard to stay away from the energy in which I saw because the best way I can describe it is this. I envisioned them getting into it. I've said some really crude things, made some threats. It appears like she was going to call somebody to make good on the threat and all hell broke loose and they got into it in the bathroom. And I wanna lead up to how this all happened. So just follow me with this. Like I said, the last song was King Von, I Am Who I Am. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. This is instantaneous. This falling under the Seven of Coins. You sowed seeds into the situation to get a reaction, but this is like literally, this is sowing seeds for a bigger harvest. You were poking and poking the bear, and this time the bear reacted. This is literally writing a uh, check with your mouth that your ass can't cash. Six of 
seven of swords and the magician this is somebody uh oh we got another one here so we got the queen of cups queen of cups seven of swords and the music uh the magician excuse me so queen of cups who is you know someone who pretty much is an intuitive person so this is like you knew that this would you knew that what you were saying was going to spark an emotion and it was going to cause something to happen because it's like seven of swords is being very sneaky and being very manipulative and it's saying that this was foolish of you to do so because this is like word on the street, Knight of Swords. Somebody came through with a message. Tell me more about this message that somebody came through with. Because it's like I got caught up in something. The Chariot. The Emperor and the Chariot. Two of Wands. A decision was made. Um... Somebody's moving forward after all of this is said and done. It's like it's like no turning back. So coming in with a message, like I said, being manipulative, being shady playing on people's emotions because you feel like you know how things are going to turn out intuitively. You understand how people's minds work. So it's like Op is trying to force an apology out of other people for things that she knows that she's involved in, things that she knows that she is responsible for. Having to apologize for a decision that was made, a choice that was made. And whatever this choice was definitely brings heartbreak. Hold on. Trying to make a little space because it's. I'm not on my regular working space, so I want to make sure that everything can still be seen. Six of Swords, that's moving on, leaving a toxic energy or a toxic situation behind. Ace of Wands, forward movement and expansion. High Priestess, um, find out all about things that were done in secret. So, Oh, sheesh. Bottom of the deck, death. So Danny wants to move on and leave this situation alone because there's some things that were done in secret that she found out about. Some very manipulative things, some gossip that's looming, possibly op speaking to someone that she shouldn't be speaking to on certain things that she shouldn't be speaking on with this person. Can... Um, concerning Danny it's the cups manipulating her through this relationship Ten of Swords. It's an ultimate betrayal in here somewhere. Because that, that's literally being stabbed in the back to the point of no return. I said to the point of no return. Um, 
something happen that brings this great escape to an end. And it happens swiftly after this message comes through, after what's being said comes to the table. Queen of Swords, like I said, all I keep hearing is Sierra, watch your mouth. Who you talking to, watch your mouth. And this is why I kept channeling Rocky Bad, talking to me crazy. First off, ain't no talking to me crazy. Now, Op has a way of being able to cut into her in ways that no one else could. Three of Wands. So this high priestess, this is secret behind, you know, um, some ships that's coming in. Um, and this affects, you know, money because Knight of uh, Coins is money is coming real slow. Like I said, Knight of Coins, money is coming real slow. That was, I mean, excuse me, King of Coins. So, King of Coins is leveling up um, in a love relationship to get money. Page of Coins at the bottom of the deck, breadcrumb is somebody. And also, that's another card for me that represents somebody may have to offer an apology. Now I said, the situation with the emperor moving forward comes to an end, money comes back to a crawl. Um, for two people that are supposed to be together, it's a lot of escapism between both of these damn people. Both of them at some way or another are trying to escape the other one. And it's like, you went through all of this with her. You lost your standing. You lost respect from certain people. You lost your ability to earn money comfortably in the way that you're accustomed to making money because everything is too high profile for you to get out here and do what you need to do allegedly. And you find out after you go through all of this and you stand by your woman, your woman is trying to go stand by another man, allegedly. And <laughs> all of this, like taking a leap of faith intuitively, um, intuitively, being sneaky and manipulating this love situation so that you can get to the bag, the king of coins, an established man, possibly a older man, because the king of coins is a man who is well put together. This is someone who has a financial portfolio. This is someone who, you know, has their life set. They don't have to worry about anything financially. could be a man that's retired or just a man that is a businessman but whatever they have is locked in I'm trying to be so careful how I go with this because the visions that I'm having and the music that I'm hearing, it's getting more and more aggressive. Um, now I'm hearing King Von armed and dangerous. 
intro, you know, where he, he talks about police always watching me, every day they clocking me. Keeping the strap on him because he just looking out. You know, talking about how, how he, I'm just looking out. I, I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just looking out for me. So this is where Danny is right now. It's like, you can't comfortably make your moves. You can't get out here and do what you need to do. Due to this situation, you know that you always being watched. Hell, the, the fans that y'all asking for money from, you might as well say that's the police too. Sheesh. This is a lot of pressure. This is a lot of pressure for one person. And it's like, you know, it's one thing to have a pot boiling, but you know when you put that top on the pot and it's boiling at a high heat and all of a sudden everything just starts to bubble over. This is where Danny is now. So literally I keep hearing time and time again, over and over and over. Watch your mouth, Sierra. Sierra, watch your mouth. Who the fuck you think you talking to, Sierra? I told you about your mouth. Now we got six of wands at the bottom of the deck. And six of wands is moving forward victoriously. This is her plan. She wants to just move on because she's getting tired. Page of coins. Looking for new opportunities, new ways to, you know, do what she got to do to get it popping, to get income. Because money is slow due to all the energy that's around them to where you know you can only do so much because everybody's always on your head everybody's always watching you so swiftly you want to move on get out the way right But there's a hangman. This hangman is attached to this queen of swords. And I just keep hearing it over and over again. Guys, I don't mean to be redundant. But I just keep hearing that. Watch your mouth, Sierra. Finally, it's like that, that pot that's boiling over. Watch your mouth, Sierra. Hermit and temperance now. Just wanting to balance through a new beginning. Wanting to be alone so you can have balance through a new beginning. Wanting to be single. Wanting to move on. Because this, this situation ain't working. The hermit. So. I mean, literally, you know, opportunities can come to you if you separate yourself. And here's an argument, five of swords, very harsh communication. What is this argument pertaining to? Strength. Okay, so. Strength under the page of coins. So when you got the emperor, the chariot, death, knight of coins, page of coins, it's like, you know, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps so that you can do whatever it is you need to do 
because everything that you have had up until this point has come to an end due to this energy. Because here it is, Queen of Wands. This is like the most flamboyant queen in the deck. But as you can see the look on her face, you got off into this situation thinking that you had, you know, this hot girl, this bad bitch, and everything in your life been going downhill ever since because nobody ever told you that nightmares are dreams too. You thought that this situation was going to make your dreams come true. But the dream ended up being a nightmare. Knight of Cups, Five of Swords. <clears throat> oh, my throat got scratchy on this one. So somebody got caught up offering their cup to somebody else and it caused an argument. Remember, I asked, what was this argument pertaining to? Somebody's supposed to be moving on in another situation, got caught up. And this can turn into a situation that has to go before a judge because the the hierophant is judge, jury, adjudicator, um, possible legal matters. Pertaining to this queen of wands who ended up being your hangman. So just... I mean, it's like, how many losses do you have to take? You've been told, like people have warned you. You've had people beg you to step away from this situation, to let this situation go. And you just wouldn't let it go because you're stubborn. You keep trying to find the silver lining. But how can you find the silver lining in a situation that doesn't have one. You're literally letting somebody piss on your head and tell you it's raining. And the worst part about it is, you know that this person has been gaslighting you this whole time. They've been manipulating you. The fool, the queen of cups, the seven of swords, the magician, the ace of cups, the king of coins, the hermit. No matter how you slice it, when it's all said and done, you're going to put yourself in a situation where you have to be in hermit energy because you're going to be ostracized not only from the neighborhood and the people around you, but from the community. Because for me, the hermit also goes along with the, the uh, Eight of Swords, which is the card for confinement, jail. over actions that you took with the queen of wands king of wands is all about that action um red man time for some action so you get it kicking you know you kick it off you pop it off and due to that action you end up in this hermit mode ostracize tell me more about what happens after this action What I tell y'all, going before the judge, judge, jury, and adjudicator, you end up in a situation to where everything is literally on the line. And it puts the weight of the world on your shoulders, ten of wands. Because of your actions, king of wands, you acted without thinking. It was impulsive. It was in the moment. It was beyond what you felt like you were capable of controlling in that moment. But that moment is going to cost you if you allow it to. Yeah, weight of the world on your shoulders. Ten of Wands because of your actions. 
king of swords you need to be head over heart you need to you know be able to control your emotions this is a serious serious and i mean serious altercation and if you don't get away from her and control your emotions This is going to be a proverbial nail in the coffin for you. Explain more, spirit guides, please, and thank you. Okay, so what is this opportunity I was coming in? Because you got this Ace of Wands, excuse me, the Three of Wands to the Ace of Coins. So once again, this seven of coins, this is sowing seeds for a bigger harvest, three of swords, it leads to heartbreak. This was like setting up a plan for operations of some kind. Um, six of swords, this was supposed to be for you to move on and leave a toxic situation behind. Ace of wands, this is forward movement and expansion in secret high priestess coming into a blessing the opportunity this is the three of wands you had something set up where you were supposed to be coming into money danny but this fool this leap of faith this taking on this action without thinking due to this emotional toxic person who was being sneaky who was manipulating you through this love situation because it was all about the money is going to cause you to lose everything and be ostracized due to what? Justice. And the crazy thing is, what I'm picking up on right here has nothing to do with shell. This is good old toxic energy between op and Danny that has nothing to do with shell. Legal issues that have nothing to do with shell. Not this time. King of Swords, strength. So it's like you find your backbone and you start barking back. You start saying what's on your mind to the Empress, right? Over something that got back to you, Knight of Swords. And it came back to you swiftly. It's like, soon as she did it, it got back to you, right? So then you got the six of wands. You knew right then in that moment, it's like, okay, it's a wrap. I'm done. Kicks off the argument. Five of swords, because that's trouble in communication. Knight of cups about somebody that she was dealing with, you know, behind your back. Somebody you was... Oh, we were just flirting. No big deal, right? Page of Cups. Two of Wands making a choice between you and this other person. You feeling like she playing in your face. It's like, quit playing with me. Quit lying to me. Queen of Swords. She start cutting into you, getting real nasty with her communication. And boom light switch goes off it's like as soon as that switch goes off danny leaves and that beast shows up and that's the hangman queen of wands because of her actions you lose it and that's where we get this hierophant that you end up having to come across that's that's law that's judge that's police due to your actions towards her and it causes the weight of the world to be on your shoulders and it causes a whole bunch of things to be illuminated tell me more about these things that get illuminated she crossed you for the last time ten of swords this is the ultimate betrayal there is no coming back from this Page of Swords, being watched, surveillance, justice, 
three of coins. Now, I've been saying for the last couple of readings that she was going to throw Danny under the bus. And this looks like exactly how Op throws Danny under the bus. It looks like the message that gets back to Danny is that Op gave up some very, very pertinent information. And that information leads to a certain type of surveillance that brings certain things to justice on Danny. Allegedly. Yep. Got something to do with how you work, how you make your money. And now it's like the block is hot. This is how you become the hermit. You get ostracized from everybody. Um... Four of Cups. This is an unrequited offer. Now pay attention. That's a vial of blood. That is also an unrequited offer. Somebody can be sick. And I keep picking up on sickness in the last reading. Um, four of Swords. That's something being laid to rest. Or someone being laid to rest due to a sickness and illness. And now things are coming to light about a situation. And it causes a huge tower. This is a very, very heavy argument. This is the biggest betrayal that you never saw coming. You knew that she would do slick shit. You knew that she could be shady. But baby, you ain't see this one coming. This was, this was beyond anything that you thought that she was capable of. Four of Coins, King of Swords. This is you being stubborn because all you kept thinking about is the money and stability that you were supposed to be getting through the stability in this relationship. Four of Wands, that's the engagement marriage card. You let her blow all kind of smoke up your ass. Finally. That Knight of Cups led to a tower, major tower. And how does it happen? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is not just a card of considering options. Notice this is a beast, right? What did I say in that I Am Who I Am song? The lyric was, off the Henny the Yak don't know how to act this is a card of libation so you know things get popping when folks get you know too on too lit right nine of swords that's anxiety fear panic attack for the queen of wands and remember and this card came out the last time when I said I saw her, you know, in a position where she had her hands up. She had her arm up. This is like out of nowhere, out comes the beast. And it happens so quick that it brings deep regret and sorrow to Op. And there's nothing she could do about it. There's nothing she could do about it. I'm hoping that they're able to work out their differences. And guys, energy is interchangeable. Just because I see this now doesn't mean that I can't work on herself and, you know, work on her mouth. But from what I'm seeing, th this is an ass whooping of epic proportions. I don't even see her getting a lick in. It happens swiftly. I don't see more than three punches before she's down. And she's not able to protect or defend herself. And from there, it is very, very brutal. It's gruesome. 
I'm not going to describe the rest of what I see. I'm just praying that they can find more conducive, productive ways to have disagreements because this is ugly. Like I said, off the Henny the Yak, when I'm drunk, I don't know how to act. Fabio Foreign, that's his name. Queen, King Vine and Fabio Foreign. The end of Fabio's verse, but he said, off the Henny the Yak, I don't know how to act. And then I'm channeling after that, little Kim the, the jump off. And the part where she keeps saying, and out comes the beast. So this is the jump off. Something comes out, and this is a harsh truth. Because the Ace of Swords is the truth, nothing but the truth. Ten of Coins. And this would be justice for the independent woman because it falls on top of, the nine of coins falls on top of justice. Nine of wands, the wounded warrior. You can't become the wounded warrior without literally being wounded. This is She's going to use this as an opportunity to throw Danny under the bus. If Danny sees this, if anybody sees this and you know her, show this to her, tell her, keep her hands to herself, control her temper, do not put hands on Opt, because if you put hands on Opt, not only is she going to have you locked up, She's going to expose all the other things that you have been doing, allegedly, and you're going to find out while you're in lockup that you've literally been handed over and not for what you think you've been handed over for. So, oh, I want to get out of this energy because it's ugly. Ten of coins. Yeah, she's going to take this and turn this into content and make money off of it. This, this will be major content, major ways for her to panhandle by telling everybody that you beat her up. And from what I saw in the spirit realm, this was this was an epic ass whooping. Okay. Steel toe boot ass whooping. And I, I hope it doesn't happen. Like I said, Danny, control your temper, control your emotions. Did she make you mad? Walk out and leave and just don't come back. That's it. Walk out and leave and don't come back. Closing cards. The chalice fulfillment. The alchemist, which is also like the magician. That's the ace of cups to, to the magician. So this is somebody manipulating you through a love situation. Masculine. Secret, responsibility, okay, 
So and you see this is Book of Shadows Secrets that's manipulating things through um dark means. High priestess on this card with responsibility. Hex banishment. This is how she gets rid of you for all time if you don't control your temper and your emotions. Control your, your drinking, your temper, and your emotions because it's getting to the point to where she's not seeing this relationship as fruitful. And when Op doesn't see something as fruitful, she finds ways to get rid of it. Same way she did Shell. She thought that she was moving on to something bigger and better. And she had something bigger and better with you. And she no longer needed Shell. So what did she do? She got you to mistreat Shell so that she can get rid of Shell for you. Now she has somebody else that she's willing to have do you dirty so that she can get rid of you for them because they're more profitable to her. And this came out in that argument. <clears throat> Insecure. Also notice this person taking shots, right? See that? Insecure. This person's taking shots. Unsuspecting person didn't see it coming. Arrow through that apple, right? Taking shots. The fans, why everybody's watching. So she's willing to humiliate you and, and embarrass you no matter the cost in front of whomever, right? Possibly online. Uh, King of Rings, the jeweler. So... Is, is to the point to where you're thinking that you guys are going to level up, get married, you're going to move on to bigger and better things, but really you're just fresh meat. And see, she's saying this in front of all the fans, that y'all going to get married, y'all going to be together. Remember I picked up on the marriage energy in that last reading of part four? Here we go, the cliffhanger to be continued. Well, here's the other side of the cliffhanger. Boom, the, dra the drama. Same thing that make you laugh or make you cry. Seven of rings for the right reason. So she had an exit plan this whole time. Four of Rings, Possessive. Three of Rings, Group Date. So look at here. You ended up in the same position as Shell. You ended up in a throuple. But you didn't even know it. At least Shell knew that you were there. For the right reason. Playing to the middle oh, with the baby daddy. The producer who is also the manipulator because the producer produces the images that we see. The bachelor. And in that last reading, I kept saying there was a difference between these two men, two different ethnicities. Uh, five of rows, the competition. Look at that. These folks is fighting the competition. And that's where the drama comes in. Because like I said, she was giving her cup to somebody else and you didn't even know. You was looking for what? Didn't I say she was looking for a silver lining and there was none there? Reassuring roles and the producer. <laughs> And I'm gonna leave it on this because in the, in the streets, the term rose is prostitute. 
okay? So she's reassuring you, but she's manipulating you in everything that you see in this whole outlook. And finally, you snap because you get tired of her playing in your face. And that's what explains this to be continued energy. So this is my reading on Danny. And Danny, like I said, if you see this, control your anger, control your emotions. You get mad, just up and leave and don't come back. Or, you know, find a way to separate yourself indefinitely without doing damage. Because nothing good can come out of this for you. Just walk away. Call it the quits. Leave it alone. Hit that about a bitch. All these cards over here, all these decks literally just fell off the table. <sighs> well, like I said, it's the point of no return. Once this tower hits, once everything hits the table, everything falls apart. It's the point of no return. How it ends for you is up to you. Now, I suggest that you do what you need to do to peacefully separate yourself. Because you don't want to have your own personal nightmare before Christmas. And with that being said, y'all, I'm going to end this reading here. This has been my energy pull on Danny. And I believe I'm going to call this Danny dot 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 Sierra. Watch your mouth. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. Have a blessed and wonderful day. And like I said, if Danny gets a chance to see this, keep your hands to yourself because it's going to end up bad for you.